Hi guys, um, I want to start off by saying that today has been a really hectic and overwhelming day, um, just crazy all together. Um, and for those of you who are MJ fans, or even those of you who aren't, I'm sure you know that that is due to the Conrad trial, Conrad Murray trial starting. Um, notice I said the Conrad Murray trial and not the Michael Jackson trial because it really isn't Michael Jackson's trial. He's not the defendant in this case. He's actually the victim and um, I think that needs to be known. That's really important. I feel like the media likes to portray it as the Michael Jackson trial just to get more views and stuff, but really it isn't the Michael Jackson trial. So anyway, um... I don't know, today my heart is just so heavy, so much stuff on my mind, and it's all due to the Conrad Murray trial. I'm smiling because if I don't smile, if I don't stay positive, I feel as though I would cry. And I'm going to try very hard not to cry in this video, um, but I am warning you, that is not guaranteed. Also, I want to keep this video to a medium, like I don't want to make it too long, so I'm going to try to get my points across really quickly. So basically I was at work and I could not watch the trial so um, I just read a lot of my tweets and I took information from there. A lot of the things that I heard were shocking. Um, it was only once I got home that I did tune in and that was around the time that Kenny Ortega took the stand and also the guy afterward but I'm not sure of his name. It was something a little bit weird so Anyway, I'm um, sorry I'm talking so low, but I just don't feel like being all energetic today. Um, but anyway, pretty much there's so much going on, but two major things caught my attention. One being a photograph, and just saying photograph, I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about. And also a voice clip, and also I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about with that as well. I just went online to see if I could catch up somehow with the trial, and... I did get a lot of different information, but not really what I was looking for. However, I did stumble across the photograph, which I mentioned, and also the voice clip. So, um, in this photograph, if you have not seen it, it is a picture of Michael Jackson dead, and he's on a gurney at the hospital. Um, it's not graphic at all. I will link, I will post the link in the down bar if you do want to see it. Um, I'm surprised that that was put out there because I know that the family did a great job of not really having those types of pictures surface. Uh, they did not show him in death, you know. They had a closed casket and no pictures were leaked or anything like that. So I never really expected to ever see a photograph of Michael after he died. Um, so this was really surprising. It took me aback. Um, like I said, the photo is not graphic, so if you do want to view it, I I personally saw it at SmokingGun.com first, and then at ABC.com again, and this picture just kept coming up a lot today, so on CNN, they also showed the photo. I was surprised. On Smoking Gun, I know they're not really a great place for reputable information, um, but there is a lot of Michael bashing. It's like, come on guys, really? The man is dead. Have some respect. Honestly, that's all I can say about that. I know there's haters, but this is a photograph of a man who is lying on a gurney. He's dead. Like, just give it a rest, right? But there's always going to be haters. Uh, so yeah, there is that photo. Um, pretty much, that sums it up. If you want to go see it, go see it. To me, he looks like he's just sleeping, and I just like to think of it as... He went to be with God, he went to be with his creator, the very person who gave him to us as a gift and gave him, gave him his talent. So I think that he's in a good place. Wherever he was, he's peaceful in that photo and he's not suffering. He's not in pain, he's not hurting. So that's what consoles me, that's what keeps me, you know, good. I don't know. Um, so then moving on, the voice clip. It is basically a recording that Conray, Conray, see I don't even really care what his name is, Conrad, Conmurray, Conrad Murray, okay, um, 
I read a tweet that was like Conrad murdery. I kind of had to laugh at that. Um, but yeah, he recorded this voice note on his iPod. I mean, sorry, his iPhone. And to me, it's just really disheartening. I don't know. It's really, 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 really surprising to hear. Basically, in it, Michael is just extremely drugged. You can hear him really drowsy, groggy, slow. His voice is deep, partially to the drugs. And also, I think that his voice could be deep at times. So it was really, really surprisingly deep in this voice clip. And he was just talking about what he expected from the This Is It tour. And it was just so touching to hear him still, even in his condition. He was talking about making a children's hospital and donating millions and making it the Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital, and that just, just just shows his nature. Anybody who thinks that he could harm a child is just totally wrong. To me, he's totally wrong. But that was pretty much the voice clip. I'll try to post the link that has both the photo and the voice clip so you can hear either or. Or you could search it on Google, you could search either or. Because I know some people may not want to see the photo, but they do want to hear the audio, so I'll try to post separate links, or you could just Google it. Um, but anyway, just about the trial, it was just so hard today to keep focused. Um, so many tweets, and it was just so interesting. And then also those two things that I just talked about, just so surprising. Um, there's one other thing that I wanted to mention. This was one thing that just really got me. Aside from the photo and stuff, yes, that was very shocking, but I didn't really cry. I had tears well up at times, but the thing that really got me was just watching... A small clip of an interview that Jermaine did with Geraldo um, and he was explaining how Michael had these symptoms and people never really looked into them how he was cold on one side and hot on the other of his body that's obviously not a good sign um, he was disoriented didn't know left from right you know um, and he would repeat himself a lot and he was saying why didn't these people get him help because that would be the ideal thing to do and had the family been notified they would have cancelled the This Is It tour and gotten him help, taken him to the hospital and he said all of that they did for him at the rehearsals was throw him a blanket and give him a bucket of chicken and I don't know what it was about that but it got me like here is this great man and they just really mistreated him and I know how much Michael Jackson loved KFC. That still makes me smile to this day. Hearing all of the stories, I mean, at the memorial, uh, Magic Johnson had his story about sharing a bucket of chicken with Michael. I know he likes his chicken, but honestly, that's not going to help him. And had they gotten him the help that he deserved or that he needed, he would still be here. And Jermaine stated that also. Um, so, really, those are the things that just got me. Um, I don't know, to people who aren't Michael Jackson fans, I might seem crazy, and I really don't care, because to me this is a huge deal, and um, I know it's going to be spread out. It's going to take a matter of time to really get down to the business of the trial, but I don't know. For the first day, it was really overwhelming. I just wanted to share that. Initially, I was not going to make a video. I decided that it was too much for me. Today was too overwhelming, but I don't know. And I just decided that it needed to be done. I want to do like a Justice for MJ video, not of me speaking, but just of him, you know, photos of him and talking about the trial. I may still do that video depending on how hectic things are tomorrow or the day after or whenever, but I will do it soon. So thank you guys for watching. I know this video is kind of a glum video, not so exciting, but definitely leave your comments down below on how you guys reacted to the trial, how you guys feel, anything you guys want to say, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.